Hi everyone, Jack, RoadsterCycle.com. Hey, got some exciting news. It's been a while since I, I, I've done a video, but uh, just because COVID and all the, the other crazy stuff that's been going on. So, uh, in between my last build, the Mustang, and this new build I'm going to do, I built a Volkswagen Rabbit uh, with a mid-engine Tesla motor, which was split in half. That video I'll show you as soon as I get the uh, car back. AEM uh, Engine Management has the car right now. They're dynoing it and looking at some uh, parts of it just to, just to see uh, how everything works because they did do the install of the BMS and I'm using their controller for the Tesla motor and a couple other goodies from them. So that's pretty great. But today I just want to tell you about the new project I'm starting and it's a Model 3 subframe and motor install in another Mustang, a 2006 Mustang. And that one I'm trying to, and hopefully I'll get this together and get it right, is make a subframe that'll bolt to the Mustang and then you'll be able to bolt Model 3 subframes and motors right to my frame which would give you a quick easy DIY. Um, the, the Mustang would be about a thousand pounds lighter. That's just a guesstimate so don't don't take me for that those numbers. I have, haven't you know weighed it yet or whatever but it looks like it's going to be about a thousand pounds lighter than a Model 3 when it gets done. The Model 3 uh, motor compared to the Tesla like sport motor I used in the last Mustang build um, it's like hundred and forty pounds difference in weight and that's a lot as far as that goes for drag racing or anything like that the um, the wheels on the Model 3 are the same as Ford wheels so we're talking five on four and a half bolt pattern which means that the Mustang will have Ford wheels on it and it'll look stock it'll look great so anyway, I'm going to take and show you the car, I'll show you the uh, motor setup, and talk to you a little bit from behind the camera instead of in front of the camera. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's our motor setup. This is a Model 3 performance motor uh, that I got out of a crash car, of course. These are bullet wheels, which are really close to matching the stock wheels in the back of the Mustang. So this is the Mustang. Let me back up a little bit. So this is the Mustang. It's kind of got that bullet look, uh, which is awesome. I think that's great. And this Mustang was really nice. Man, I thought it was going to take me a few months to find a Mustang that was worthy to do this. But the first one I went and saw was this one. It looks like it's been garage kept and everything. It was a beautiful car. So anyway, back to this. So anyway, so the wheels are four and a half on five or five on four and a half, sorry about that. Um, with I had to use one inch spacers to clear the rear caliper, okay? Which, by using one inch spacers, it makes this setup five or five eighths of an inch wider than the stock Mustang, which means that's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Three sixteenths on each side, which is nothing. Uh, for this as far as that goes so anyway so we got this uh, what's happening right now I've sent the differential to traction concepts to put in one of their uh, uh, posi units into it uh, to see how that's going to work out they worked out great at the last Mustang on the uh, sport motored Mustang the 2007 I ran that in there not too many people know that but I ran that in there and it it worked great. So that's that. The inverter is off. I have a piece of cardboard on here now just to keep it clean. But the inverter is sent to Ingenex in Canada to be able to get programmed and tuned so I can control uh, the motor. So that's over there. This is the setup right here. That's going to get used in it. So I'm pretty excited. This new build should be fun, and hopefully I can get a subframe, a bolt-in subframe that'll bolt to this frame, so that uh, this will be an easy DIY project for somebody who wants to, uh, you know, take their Mustang and turn it into an electric vehicle. Of course, it's not, you know, the 500 horsepower, 
you know, big Tesla motor, but you know, that's a, that's a big shoehorn project, getting that thing into a Mustang. Take it from me, I know. So with that being said, that's the next Mustang that's gonna be done. And in between now and then, uh, getting this one done, I'll get a video on the uh, Volkswagen Rabbit, because that thing's gonna be insane. It's about 11, about 11 to one gear ratio in the back, so the uh, uh, eighth mile time should be just crazy with that car, because normally a Tesla is about nine to one final drive, and the Rabbit's gonna be 11 to one. Okay, so that's it. Just a short, quick video showing you what's up, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.